YouTube, what is up? So, as I mentioned in the uh, video, the previous video with the uh, X-Men 3-pack, the Love Triangle 3-pack, that I would show off these uh, figures individually. And uh, so here we are. So before we get into it, I just wanted to say uh, thank you to, to uh, the uh, YouTube community for watching the video and subscribing. It is uh, much appreciated as I try to grow this channel. And uh, as a thank you, I'm going to go ahead and answer some of the questions from that last video. And... Uh, if you guys have any other uh, questions in regards to uh, these three figures, uh, in this video we're going to be focusing on Wolverine. So if you have any questions uh, in regards to that figure, feel free to ask. And if there's something that I can check for you or maybe even do another video, which I think at, after this it might be a little overwhelming, but I'm still willing to do it. So... Here we are, and uh, I'm going to give a shout out to some of the guys who asked questions, and I'll mention your name as we move along down the list, and uh, we'll just take them one at a time. Uh, for the Wolverine, it seemed like we got more questions about that figure than uh, any other figure, surprisingly, but as we all know, Wolverine is a very popular character, and... Uh, Let's just uh, go ahead and uh, dive into it. So uh, we had uh, Richard Lee who uh, suggested that we get a raised, filled, uh, unmasked head for uh, this Wolverine. He was saying that that would have been nice. And I mean, yeah, absolutely. But the only thing that we got <laughs> even close to that, and you guys might even hate me for this. Uh, would have been this head here, which I don't know if that's a good look or not, but it's not terrible. Um, so there you have that look. Actually, you know what? Give me one second. I got a box here from Entertainment Earth that I never opened. And this has oh wow come on that's not cool this contains the uh cowboy logan if i'm not mistaken i believe it's this box so just bear with me i'm gonna have to open up a couple of boxes maybe i should have done it before off camera but uh we did get uh, this head. Oh, let's focus that a little bit. So, you know what? Let me go ahead and uh, crack this open. Uh, thank you guys for being patient uh, with me as I open these. And again, I, I, that just actually kind of dawned on me. But, uh, yeah, I didn't review this figure. Uh, there was already quite a few videos done. But, uh, yeah, if you do have this figure, and I believe this head sculpt is the same that we got with the, uh, actually this figure here in the background, if you see me pointing at it. But it doesn't have the uh, mask over his eyes. So, it's not a bad look. Not at all. So, as far as a unmasked Ragefield head, I, th I think that would work. That is not a bad look at all. And... Yeah, Richard Lee, man, that's um, 
I think that's going to be uh, as good as it gets. So, uh, wow, dude, I'm actually glad and happy you mentioned that because uh, that would have been an epic fail for me not to open that and uh, put this on here. Um, bro, again, that is a surprisingly really good look. We're just going to go ahead and leave that on there. I like it that much. Um, a couple other questions were uh, as far as um, the claws on the bone hand, the bone hand claws, the bone claws on the other hands, if they were removable, um, they're not. So these do not port in. Let's see if we can get a better look at that. And, but they're not uh, molded this way. So these are actually separate individual pieces. And it kind of has a slit here to where they were glued in. So if you wanted to put these in. Uh, let's do that. Come on now, focus. If you wanted to put these in like hot water or something and have them removed. And maybe dribble, dribble out a, a cut in there. And re-glue them in. That would actually work. Um, I actually would like to see uh, these on like maybe a nude hand. Like this. A flesh tone hand for the Wolverine. And uh, I think that would be a good look. So just for your uh, purpose of uh, showing that look. would uh look something like like that even though that hand would be more of a flesh tone that actually would be a really good look and i'm sure we got some uh flesh tone hands for wolverine somewhere but uh yeah or even maybe modding these hands some type of way uh, with with the Dremel that would actually uh, be a really good look so yeah and uh, who actually asked that question did I mention that that was uh, Johnny Ray so Johnny Ray there you go man I hope that was uh, a good enough uh, explanation on how to, well, talking about if they were removable or not, but a good explanation on how to actually get that look done. Um, and that's if you're willing to, you know, do a little bit of work. It could work. Yeah. So, um, Uncanny Whispers, he asked, uh, why didn't they use the X-Force Claws? Man, I don't, I have no idea why they didn't. They, those things were awesome. So here we got the... Uh, x-force wolverine and uh again man i mean are these these things aren't removable on this figure but uh if you're willing to to paint wow come on out now if you're willing to paint that uh the black hands blue um that could work actually that could actually work. I mean, we already know and, and seen how awesome these claws are. So that would have been a great look. I mean, I don't know if I recall seeing them in the uh, cartoon that thick. But it, it's not a bad look. I mean, I, I like them for the, the X-Force figure. But um, yeah. Maybe maybe just an extra set of those claws with the blue gloves. That that would have been awesome. And uh, all right, let's stand this guy right back up. Someone 
also mentioned sorry if I'm uh who was that? Okay, we had the bone claws. Uh short for a stormtrooper mentioned uh that the Wolverine and the Cyclops, uh their colors with that bright yellow actually look more uh nineties accurate to the uh cartoon and I'm gonna go ahead and say yeah. Yeah, they definitely do. Although the blue on on the Wolverine, if it was a little bit more like this blue, and maybe you guys can't tell, this brighter blue, I think that would have been pretty sick. Um, but I, I guess they may have wanted to switch things up just a little. And maybe in the future, we actually will get that Wolverine. But, uh, or do we have that? Hmm. I think we have that. And we here we have the uh, Wolverine from, <clears throat> excuse me, just woke up. Nope, it's not, that's not it. That's actually really lighter, a lot lighter. Uh, we would have to switch out that belt. And those blues, as you can see, are, are a lot lighter. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and pause this, set this down. And uh, somebody wanted uh, to see some comparisons between the three-pack Wolverine and this uh, first appearance Wolverine. So let's go ahead and pause it and then we'll get into that. So, uh, yeah, that is a go. That is a match. So the yellows on these two figures do uh, match. However, the blues are different. And uh, with that being said, you can actually remove this head and uh, place the regular uh, looking Wolverine head on here and the battle damaged. So this thing's giving me a hard time. Just a second. All right. So then you can have uh, that head on the figure, the uh, regular Wolverine head. Let's get that to focus. Which is uh, a good look. Um, of course, the unmasked head will fit. And one thing I, I wanted to mention was uh, we had... A lot of people selling this figure just because they didn't care for it. And um, I don't really blame them. But as, as a Wolverine fan, I would not want to sell mine. But uh, I think more people are going to start keeping this. Uh, yeah, that's just happened. Uh, keeping this figure. Because this is actually... Um, a really good look and a, a way to pose this figure uh, if you don't care for the cat face look on the uh, first appearance just maybe to have uh, one unmasked one masked or even one with uh, the uh, battle damage head or like I said or unmasked uh, the only gripe would be that the uh, bone claws won't really work with this figure because the blues on the hands aren't going to be accurate at all it's not going to match up and i'll just show you that just because and uh we can get an idea of how that would look so if you're willing to paint that um that's not a bad look at all so, uh, private, private, uh, I actually, uh, requested that we do that. And, uh, I hope that, uh, gives you a better idea of what we're getting. So let's go ahead and throw this, uh, first appearance head back on. And of course you will be able to put that first appearance head here. which is, wow, a little tough, but 
looks a little bulkier, but it, to me it looks better on the uh, other body, even though it's the same mode. For some reason, the shoulder pads make that one look a little bulkier. If you can see what I'm saying now. Yeah, so. Yeah. Um, what else? Is there anything else we can do? I think that's going to do it. Um, as always, uh, please like, subscribe. Up next, we're going to be doing Cyclops. And we had a few questions on Cyclops. So that's going to be coming at you next. Um, again, if you had any other questions, feel free to ask. Again, man, that is awesome. Richard Lee, thank you for that. Appreciate it. Like, subscribe, and as always... Take care.